if you guys are having FPS drops or your game is just laggy in general and you want it to feel absolutely quick, smooth, and crisp, then keep watching this video. In this video, we're going to be going over the complete Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 Optimization Guide. So if you guys want to increase your FPS, keep watching. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to have you guys do is head over to the link that's going to be in the description below. So let's go ahead and click on this now. And it's going to go ahead and bring you guys to the link for ties.com link, which is going to include the rethink solutions, Fortnite chapter four, season four, complete FPS pack. I want you guys to go ahead and scroll down and look at this gray button here. And you guys are going to go ahead and click on this free access with ads button in order to download the pack. So after you guys do click it, you guys might have to follow some instructions. That'll be very fast, but most of you will be brought to the media file link automatically. So just go ahead and follow the quick instructions and you guys will be brought to the download link. Now, once you guys are on the media file link, I want you guys to go ahead and click on the download button here. And after you guys do click on the download button, I want you guys to go ahead and save it to your desktop and then go ahead and click on save. After this, guys, you guys can go ahead and minimize your browser. And you guys are going to go ahead and see the rethink solutions Fortnite chapter four season four complete FPS pack here. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and double left click this. And then I want you guys to go ahead and drag this folder out to your desktop. After this, guys, go ahead and exit out the zip file. And you guys are going to see the Rethink Solutions Chapter 4, Season 4, Complete FPS Pack is installed. So now that it's installed, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and double left click the folder. And I want you guys to go ahead and take a look at everything that's going to be in here. Now, first thing we're going to go ahead and do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and start off with our in sudo. Now I want you guys to go ahead and right click your sudo and click run as administrator. Go ahead and click yes after you open it. Now guys, if you guys want to from this point to go back to default at any time, go ahead and create a restore point now before we make any changes if you would like. But none of these uh, changes are going to harm your computer. These are only going to help you guys. Trust me. So first thing I want you guys to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and drag the device cleanup tool into the open section here. Then we're going to go ahead and click on run. After this, guys, we're going to have a list of pretty much unnecessary devices that a computer is utilizing. And pretty much this is just wasting RAM and CPU usage without you guys even noticing it, which is killing your FPS and making your input latency a lot higher. So what I want you guys to go ahead and do is click on devices. Then I want you guys to go ahead and click on select all. Click devices one more time and let's click on remove selected. After this, I want you guys to go ahead and close the device cleanup tool and everything should be deleted from here. That's going to help you guys this performance significantly and that's a really 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 big change to clean up now i want you guys to go ahead and click on the disable fso globally this is a really 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 important one this is going to make sure that you guys as controller and mouse and keyboard feel absolutely amazing as pretty much without this on your games and fortnite are not going to be running in exclusive full screen mode which means that pretty much windows is using resources for it to run other stuff and it's pretty much counting your game as a background app and that's not what we want we want our windows to be recognizing our game as a priority for the best performance and lowest latency so if you guys care about your aim, definitely do this step. So I want you guys to go ahead and click on the disable FSO globally. Go ahead and drag it into the open section. And let's click run. Then go ahead and click yes on this. And perfect. Now I want you guys to go ahead and click on the disable power saving feature for USB underscore system. What this is going to do, guys, is turn off the power saving features that Windows is automatically trying to utilize for no reason, which is going to cause tons of input delay on your controller, mouse and keyboard, which is definitely not what we want in competitive games such as Fortnite, for example. So go ahead and click drag this folder over, guys, into the open section and let's go ahead and click on run. Go ahead and click on yes and click OK. From here, guys, we're going to have the disable USB 3 link power saving settings. Pretty much is going to do the same thing as this, but it's going to fully make sure that all the unnecessary power saving settings that Windows has on is going to be turned off. So let's go ahead and drag it over into the open section. Click run, click yes, and click OK. After this, guys, you guys are going to see this game priority optimizations folder. This is an extremely important one here, guys. And what this is going to do is pretty much put your windows inside of automatic low latency mode and make sure that your GPU is actually being utilized. As most of you might not know that the expensive GPUs that you guys have purchased are not really being utilized in games. And most of your games are running off of your processor alone. So in order to increase GPU utilization, we're going to go ahead and drag this over into the open section. And that's going to be the game priority optimizations reg. Go ahead and drag this over and click run. Go ahead and click yes and click OK. 
after this guys i want you guys to go ahead and head over down to power tweaks at the bottom here and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing this is pretty much going to make sure that your windows power usage is going to be on maximum so i want you guys to go ahead and drag us into the open section i want you guys to click run and go ahead and click yes so after you guys go ahead and click yes i want you guys to go ahead and click on system responsiveness drag it over into the open section click run and i want you guys to click yes so after this guys all the registry edits have been added and we're going to go ahead and jump into the tools so now i want you guys to go ahead and open up the msi utility v3 by clicking on it and dragging it over into the open section as well and make sure you enable all privileges option is checked in in sudo guys so go ahead and click run and i want you guys to go ahead and look for your graphics card so guys i do have an nvidia geforce rtx 2070 super so i'm going to look for my graphics card on the left here and then i'm going to look on the third row to the right of it and you guys are going to see the msi box now i want you guys to go ahead and check mark this box and make sure that it's ticked and after you guys have filled in this box go ahead and click on apply on the top right and we can leave this on undefined so once again guys find your graphics card name look to the right of it in the third row check the msi box and then click apply and make sure it's all undefined for the best performance as you don't want to cause any voltage or any weird issues so go ahead and exit this out guys after this let's go ahead and jump into the islc guys but before we do this we're going to actually have to go ahead and edit some commands so let's go ahead and click on the bcd edit commands and guys this is going to be absolutely huge for your fps and your latency this is going to dramatically increase your performance in all of your games so this is a step you guys want to make sure you're doing so i want you guys to go ahead and look in your windows search bar on the bottom left and i want you guys to type in cmd and it should pop up with command prompt i want you guys to go ahead and right click it and run as administrator go ahead and click yes perfect so after you guys have run this as administrator i want you guys to go ahead and click on the bcd edit section where it says off and i want you guys to highlight all three of them just like you see on the screen here after this i want you guys to go ahead and copy it you guys can either right click and click copy or do Control c either one works and i want you guys to come over here and go ahead and enter all of these click enter and as you guys can see all of these should have been done successfully and if the third one gives you that weird error that just means it's already done which is perfect so you guys can go ahead and ignore this after all of these have been successfully completed and we'll be all good to go there so go ahead and close this out go ahead and close this out and let's go ahead and open up islc guys so let's go ahead and double left click this and let's go ahead and right click islc and run as administrator and we're going to go ahead and click yes perfect now guys we're not going to be using the free memory section guys but we definitely can um so pretty much in this free memory is lower than section you guys can divide your ram uh total system memory at the top by two so I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so it's going to show 16,000. So the half of that is going to be 8124. So if you guys have 16 gigabytes of RAM, put at 8124. But if you guys have a different amount of RAM, uh, come up here to the total system memory, divide whatever number you see here by two, and that's going to be your free memory is lower than. After this, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and look to the right, and this is going to be the important section. And I want you guys to go ahead and tick enable custom timer resolution. This is pretty much going to make sure that your windows timing is always superb and this is going to significantly lower your latency and make your game feel a lot smoother so go ahead and tick this box guys and i want you guys to go ahead and change the wanted timer resolution from 1.0 to 0.50 so once it's on 0.50 guys i want you guys to click on the islc pulling right and you guys can leave this on a thousand if it's not already so after this guys i want you guys to go ahead and click on start and it's going to say this weird number up here, guys, but don't worry about it. When you guys restart your computer, it is going to say 0.5. So I want you guys to go ahead and click on the start ISLC minimized and auto. Go ahead and click on this. And this is pretty much going to make sure that ISLC starts automatically without you having to do anything. So go ahead and minimize this out, guys. And now we have ISLC running and you want your time resolution to be on at all times. And once again, guys, once you do restart your computer, it'll go to 0.5. So guys, after this, after we're done with the Rethink Solutions Complete FPS Pack, we're going to go ahead and head over to the Device Manager. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom left here, and let's go ahead and type in Device Manager. Once you guys do find it here, go ahead and click on this, and I want you guys to go ahead and open it up and full screen this. Now I want you guys to go ahead and click on View, and I want you guys to click on Devices by Connection. Now this step is going to be if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, so follow along. Now I want you guys to go ahead and scroll down 
and I want you guys to look for PCI to PCI bridge. I want you guys to click on all of them until you find one with your graphics card name like you see on mine here. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the high definition audio controller is off. So if you guys do use, use a USB headset, you guys want to turn this off, guys. This is absolutely destroying your latency, guys. Audio drivers are much more powerful than people think. So go ahead and right click the high definition audio controller, disable the device and click yes. Now, if you guys do lose audio, go ahead and re-enable it. But disabling that, guys, is going to help your computer heaps. Trust me. After that, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and click on view once again and click devices by top at the top. Go ahead and scroll all the way down. And I want you guys to open up the system devices section. After this, I want you guys to go ahead and look for high precision event timer. Right click it, disable device. After this, guys, I want you guys to scroll down. And you guys are going to scroll down and you guys are going to be looking for numeric data processor. I want you guys to right click this and disable this as well. After this, guys, you guys can go ahead and close the device manager and we're going to be all done there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few extra hidden window settings. That's going to be absolutely fantastic for your game's performance. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So let's go ahead and start off by going to control panel. Click control panel. We're going to go ahead and click on system and security. We're going to go ahead and click on system. And after this, guys, a window like this with you guys' PC specs is going to pop up. Now, I want you guys to look to the right here, and you guys are going to be clicking on Advanced System Settings. Go ahead and click on this. I want you guys to go ahead and head over to the Advanced section at the top. And then I want you guys to look in the Performance section and click on Settings. After this, guys, you'll click on the Visual Effects Settings. And I want you guys to click on Adjust for Best Performance. And after you've clicked on Adjust for Best Performance, click on Apply and then OK. Click OK again, and your game is going to be feeling so much snappier and crispier from that. So guys, I want you guys to go ahead and click on Power and Sleep next once you're here. Or you guys can type in Power down here and go to the Power and Sleep settings. Then I want you guys to click on Additional Power settings, and I want you guys to make sure that this is on high performance, guys. If you guys are on balance of power saving, you guys are losing tons of FPS and your game is going to be much more laggier than if it was not on high performance. So make sure this is on high performance, guys. So go ahead and exit this out, exit this out, exit all these out. And I want you guys to go to the Windows search again. Now I want you guys to type in game mode. After this, guys, you guys are going to see the game mode settings pop up. And I want you guys to go and open this up. I want you guys to click on the Xbox game bar. Make sure that this is off unless you guys use it, which I don't know why you would. Make sure this is off, guys. So captures, make sure the captures section here. Make sure that this is off. Make sure all this stuff is off, guys, as you're not capturing uh, stuff through Windows. So leave this alone. Go ahead and click to game mode, guys, and make sure that game mode is on, guys. Game mode, a lot of people might think it's bad, but it actually has been proven many times within benchmarks that game mode actually prioritizes your games in a way and puts less strain on your PC for other background processes so your PC components can get the most juice into your game. So make sure game mode is on, guys. After this, I want you guys to go ahead and exit out. Then I want you guys to go ahead and right click and go ahead and click display. Then after this, I want you guys to go ahead and scroll down. And then I want you guys to go ahead and look for graphic settings at the bottom. After this, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and look at the top here. And after you click graphic settings, make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on, guys. This is going to significantly help your performance heaps, guys. Make sure that this is on. This is going to reduce your latency and improve your performance. So turn this on and boom. After this, guys, we can go ahead and exit out of this. And after this, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and restart your computer. And I want you guys to go ahead and get to gaming. If this helped, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.